What's going on guys? Killer6 and we got a new hot fix coming out today for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This one is going to be version 1.0.2.0b and I don't know what this includes. This is my first time looking at it. This thing should be alive on all platforms by 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. Not at 9.30, but by 9.30. So uh, we got a new weekly rotation. This time, the in-game limited time mini event will be active from April 21st to the 28th. And this one, you're going to get in-game Treasure Ahoy. Get more gold from enemies in Sunfang Oasis and Crack Mass Cove. So if you need SDUs, this looks like a great time to do that. The Chaos Chamber's feature run has been updated. Beware, a terrible curse befalls all who enter. Then again, there's a lot of loot. The leaderboard has the leaderboards have been reset will you top the charts this week featured runs are available in the chaos chamber after you've completed the main story and rotate weekly every thursday at 9 a.m pacific time they're the same for all players to so jump in and see how your run went compared to other fate makers this run features the wastard and droll the troll oh my god <laughs> all right well let's see what else we got though we got some change notes health vials will no longer fill a fate maker's health bar during save your soul i didn't even know it did that that's crazy <laughs> the achievements uh you esquire and so much for that guy are now able to be completed properly in co-op nice uh trim and sunfang oasis has been repainted to be prettier for fate makers i have no idea what that is cultist leaders are no longer no longer sounds like a member of the bone army <laughs> all right uh we got some assault rifle adjustments the donkey the base damage is no longer treated as if it were firing an extra projectile individual saw blades now deal five percent increased damage instead of one percent increased damage saw blade duration increased from four second or decreased from four second to one second what damage scaling increased by 60 percent all right so maybe the donkey will actually be worth a damn today i don't know we'll see cross bolt generator increased damage scaling by 71 percent increased ricochet damage scaling by 32 percent very nice those are good changes fixed an issue where the cross bolt generator would not roll with barrel mod parts note this will not affect current items this will not affect current items okay so yeah, what they're saying on this is if you have one where it does not have the correct uh, barrel mod parts, you're not going to get one added to your weapon. You will have to go farm for a new one that will have the correct barrel mod parts. The manual transmission, they've sped up the mode swap speed by 20%, increased the damage scaling by 15%, increased minimum fire rate by 30%. Initial fire rate starts faster to do uh, damage sooner. That's actually a good change. Rogue Imp, they're changing the damage scaling. It's now correctly treated as it fires an additional projectile. They are adjusted the damage scaling by 18.4%. The Thunder Anima addressed an issue that was causing it to not be treated as an assault rifle. This change results in a 25% in increase to the base weapon damage and will also cause stats on items that affect a Assault rifles to properly apply to the Thunder Anima. No listing here about whether or not they will put an enchantment option on this thing because currently you can't roll an enchantment on it. So I'm hoping that this also fixes that. If not, don't worry. We have told Gearbox about this and other legendary and unique items that cannot roll with enchantments. And hopefully that's something that they will get to fix. Might require a patch. Don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this hot fix notes video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.